In today's video, we are going to work on hip rotation. Now, I know I've done some videos where I've done an entire video on hip internal rotation. I've done entire videos on hip external rotation. But in this video, we are going to focus on moving in and out of internal rotation and external rotation, which is really, really critical just to give you freedom of movement when you are walking and when you're navigating your environment. Just valuable movements that will just enhance your overall efficiency and your confidence with your walking. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara. I'm a neurologic physical therapist. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health, to live an overall more active, mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. Now, before we dive into the video, as usual, for those of you that have been around for a while, there will be a handout that goes along with this video that will have all, pictures of all the exercises as well as descriptions so that you don't have to keep coming back to this video. To get instant access to that handout, link for that is in the description below. Now, let's just first, before we get into the exercises, talk about some of the movements that are essential that the hips that the hip does that we have a tendency to avoid especially when we're working on relearning how to walk so as you all know most of you you want to pick your leg up so you work on hip flexion right or you feel like your hip pops out to the side so you work on hip extension or learning how to stand on that leg or hip abduction right but there are other things that we do like for instance like you want to step over to the side that's what we call like a multi-plane planar hip movement your hip is moving in multiple planes right or you're turning to go get something or you forget something you got to turn right those are multi-planar hip movements or you're falling backwards and kind of off to the side multi-planar hip movements or you're trying to step over something multi-planar right so we got to learn how to kind of move in these kind of different unorthodox directions that we don't often think about so when i say unorthodox i don't mean that we don't work on them or that we don't do them, just that we don't focus on them or we forget to focus on them sometimes. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna work in open chain, meaning that the foot is off the ground, right? So those are very important movements to get. And then we'll do a little bit on closed chain, but I have done a ton of videos on that. So if we do anything like that, it's really just gonna be to build on some of the stuff that we do in open chain. But the reason I tell you that is for all of you, it is important to work those motions with the foot off the ground and also to work those motions with the foot on the ground. So don't skip over this video, right? You do need you do need both. I have done a lot of the closed chain, but really like you want to watch this video and get some of these movements or coordinate those hip movements with your leg kind of free floating in the air. Before we dive into the exercises in today's video, there is a handout that goes along with today's video that has pictures of the exercises as well as descriptions of each of the exercises so that you don't need to keep coming back to watch this video to incorporate the specific exercises that will benefit you the most into your home exercise program. That exercise handout is available to our bronze members only. That membership program is just $5 a month. To learn more about becoming a member and to sign up, visit rehab-hq.com. With your membership, not only will you get access to all of the exercise handouts that go along with these YouTube videos, but you will also have access to ad-free versions of these videos as well as access to our Discord channel where you can interact with other members and where I pop in a few times a week to answer your questions. So again, to learn more about that program, visit rehab-hq.com. And now let's go ahead and dive into today's exercises. All right, so for this exercise, what we're really just working on is just in the early stages, getting used to controlling that hip in a variety of like kind of rotation type planes. So I know in some videos I talk about strapping your knees together. I would recommend um, resting your foot on a chair 
it like like so and really try not strapping your knees together so that means for those of you that have a tendency to like externally rotate or your leg always stays rotated out to the side you just have to work a little bit harder to get that internal rotation component um but doing it this way it, it does uh, make it easier because it's supported on a chair. So you might have an easier time getting that internal rotation. If you don't know what I mean, search Rehab HQ and rotated hip, and you'll see a lot of other videos that I've done on this. But on this one, if you've done those other videos, try not to strap your knees together for this one and kind of allow the chair to let your foot rest on the chair when you do it. Okay, so let me show that to you again. So leg supported on a chair. And you want kind of just like freedom of movement. So if we're working towards those open chain activities, you kind of want to just let it go in both directions. Now, you don't want it to stay flopped out like this. So if you do need to help it just a little bit to get it up, do that and then just work in a smaller range, right? So the second you start to see it flop out, if it does anything like that, just don't go, try and find a point where you go a little bit out but it doesn't flop out. But again, I would challenge you guys, for those of you that are used to using a strap around your leg, to try not to do that. And just work in a smaller range. We're just getting that hip used to that multi-planar movement. Now for this exercise, what we're working on again is combining internal rotation and external rotation. Doing it on your side might help for those of you that have a tendency to externally rotate, help with um, allow gravity to assist a little bit with this. So again, I encourage you guys to try this before you say that you can't do it. Gravity will help you a little bit with the internal rotation. And then what I want you to focus on in this video is actually like, going back to that external rotation position. Again, remember I've done a lot on isolating internal rotation. I've done a lot of videos just isolating external rotation. Now we're trying to combine those movements a little bit, okay? So start laying on your side. This is the leg that we're working. Start with your foot down and let it externally rotate, which will be easy for a lot of you guys. And then you wanna think about kind of rotating your body almost like you're coming down onto your stomach and then think about getting that foot up in the air okay not going to be easy for some of you but don't give up just try and down and then back out and down and back out and down and back out All right, so for this one, we're adding a little bit of a dimension. Now you're working on hip flexion and rotation at the same time. So when you bring it up, you're gonna use the band to help. You can also attach one of these into the top of a door frame and just lay on the ground. That will work as well. And when you bring your, let that band bring your leg up, now you just have to work on the rotation. So let the band bring it up, kind of let that knee flop out to the side and then push it down. And then when you come, let it come up the next time, bring that knee in. So you're rotating it in. We're going to alternate. Okay. So you're going to push it down, let it rotate out, push it down, let it rotate in. So basically you want you this angle of pull um, in the direction on the outside of the knee, and that will help you with the rotation. So when you push it down, just try and get your knee to the outside of the band to externally rotate it. And when you come up the next time, try and get the band to the outside of the knee. And you're just gonna alternate. Rotate, 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 rotate. All right, so for this exercise, same thing. We're still working on that hip internal and external rotation, just transitioning between the two motions. Um, but this time we're doing it with a little bit of an active assist using this golf club. 
the reason I chose a golf club is because I just did this with a patient and that's what they had at home. And so we tried to find a way that we could just use their golf clubs um, instead of like a dowel rod. And it just happened to work out even better because there's the hook on the end. So it kind of actually stays in place better. And again, we're working on smoothness, rhythm, transitioning from internal rotation to external rotation. So you're in control for this one, right? So you can control that motion. I would say for a lot of you, what it's gonna come down to is just focusing on staying relaxed. So especially if you have a lot of spasticity, um, just staying relaxed and then if you can take over with your legs a little bit, remember like I've said in a lot of videos where I show you an active assist technique, help as much as you need to, but not more than you have to. And that's where you have to kind of stay engaged with yourself and how much of your leg is doing the movement, how much of your arm is doing the movement and always kind of grading that appropriately so that you're not helping too much, but you're helping just enough. And you're just gonna go in and out. Now, for some of you, if you're a little bit taller, you do want the leg off of the ground. So find something that you can sit on that's tall enough. You don't want you any resistance from your foot rubbing against the ground. All right, so for this one, for some of you, it's gonna be hard to get your ball or your leg up onto this peanut ball. But your main focus is, is that once your foot is up there, it's a little bit of movement down here, but you're focused most on that moving the knee in and moving the knee out component of it. So if your leg gets really out of control, like your leg shoots out straight, just try not to get it to that point. Keep, keep it in a range where you can maintain the control. So for some of you, that might mean at the beginning, you just rest your leg up there and you just kind of work on this. And then once you can get good at that, you know, you could add the little roll in and out with the ball. And again, your main focus is this rotation right here, getting that rotation. All right, now we're getting to a little bit higher level for some of you, but we're now we're gonna kind of put all of those motions together. I would encourage all of you to start in a corner. The reason is you just get a lot of stability so that you can really focus on that isolated movement. It also helps to prevent you with, um, from compensating with other parts of your body. So when you're in the corner, you can't really compensate and start shifting your body around. So use the walls to your advantage and you're just gonna tap the heel on to, the, to one corner, one wall, and then to the other. Tap, 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 and tap. You can see this will be a great way to, for you guys to start getting back to some of your dancing moves. <laughs> Tap, tap, tap. And then once you get good at that, then you can move to just one wall and you're gonna go tap the wall, tap the wall, tap. Remember, you want that knee staying in. You don't want that leg flopping out. So that knee's gonna stay in, that heel's to the outside. Tap. Tap, 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 tap. All right, and then some of you guys have seen this in other videos that I've done, but then I always like to add it with some kind of a challenge that just kind of messes with your brain a little bit, makes you use the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain kind of all together and kind of alternating. So you're gonna go knee, tap, knee tap foot tap foot tap heel heel all right so again you could start in the corner with this or close to something you want to be able to calm your brain down enough so that you can kind of focus on the sequencing and then we're going to do it walking so it's knee knee foot inside of the foot inside of the foot 
heel, heel, knee, knee, inside of the foot, inside of the foot, heel, heel, heel. And then you can do it walking. So knee, knee, foot, foot, heel, heel, okay? So again, knee, knee, foot, foot, heel, heel. And then you just wanna keep repeating that sequence again. The goal isn't perfection. The goal is just to get your leg moving in these different directions and just trying to maintain a sequence, kind of like adding a little bit of a dual task activity to it. All right, and then that is it for this video. A little bit crazy, a little bit different, but hopefully you guys found this valuable and you could see how this would just make freedom of movement, will help to improve your freedom of movement and just give you more confidence when you're walking. So I hope you guys give a couple of these exercises a try. If you're new to this channel and you like these kinds of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. If you want to get exercises throughout, to the, uh, throughout the week, you can head on over to Instagram where I post one to two videos every single week, not here on YouTube. So definitely follow us over there. If you want to go a little bit deeper, I highly recommend that you join our gold monthly program. With that membership, you will get access to an entire vault of exercises of over 400 exercises that you can filter through by body part or by movement problem to get to the exact exercises that fit you and where you're at in your recovery. In addition to that, you can save programs so that if you get a list of exercise together that you wanna focus on for the next month, you can save that as a program and every time you log back in, you can come right back to that program. And then on top of that, with your membership, you will also get access to our Discord channel where you can interact with other members and myself throughout the week. And then on top of that, you will have access to our monthly lives where you can submit questions in advance and we meet up once a month where I answer all of your questions. So that is our gold monthly membership. Again, to get more information about that, link for that is in the description below. And then that is it for this video. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.